there's absolutely no proof, none, none whatsoever, that Comet Atlas is breaking up. And this is making no sense to me because we are not behaving in the manner that we, well, it does make sense to me, but we're not behaving in the manner that we should be uh, for a normal uh, event, for a normal comet event that is occurring. We should be more on the lines of like 1994 when Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 was hitting Jupiter. Astronomers are excited. Every piece of glass, every telescope in the world practically is going to be looking at Jupiter in July to see what can be seen. Astrophysicists from MIT published a detailed computer model of what to expect. In 1992, yeah, Jupiter's gravity broke the comet called Shoemaker-Levy into at least 20 pieces photographed here by the Hubble Space Telescope. The pieces, each about three miles wide, are now on a collision course with Jupiter. As each piece strikes Jupiter's atmosphere, it will set off an explosion equivalent to a quarter million hydrogen bombs. Each impact will send a huge fireball shooting back into space away from Jupiter. These will occur on the side of Jupiter facing away from Earth, but should be seen by the Galileo spacecraft. But the effects on Jupiter's atmosphere will be visible from telescopes on Earth and from the Hubble telescope a half hour after the collisions as Jupiter rotates. The comet is like a very large rock and the planet is like a very large pond and so it's going to be ripples just like uh, throwing a rock into a pond. The scientists believe that Jupiter will survive intact, that those disruptions will last for about a month. But they say the most exciting part is they are not really sure what will happen. Robert Bazell, NBC News, New York. Where is any of this information on the press anywhere? Where is NASA? Where are the television stations asking about this information? You know, this started out with an astronomer saying this is such an extraordinary event that every piece of glass is going to be trained up facing Jupiter watching Shoemaker-Levy 9. Well, my goodness, Comet Atlas is a lot closer. And if it's breaking up, we should be seeing all the pieces. Where's Telescope Hubble? Where is all of the equipment that taxpayers have paid for to look at the skies? And we are getting nothing from the government. I understand why. It is because this is a controlled event. They understand what is happening and they have to keep us quiet and calm as everything begins to unfold. So there's a great suppression of information occurring, which is fine. If this was a normal comet event that was coming this close to Earth and was this visible, there would be a bunch of excitement and all of the telescopes would be pointing up to it. Right now we have no telescopes pointing up to it. We have minimal information, and then we have this misinformation that, that the comet has broken up. The only visual reference that they can give us that's broken up are this one piece of photograph that comes from uh, you know, a, a, a regular telescope, not the super Hubble telescopes that we have and all the arrays that we have out in space. This is a very distant telescope. And look at the streaks. So this is not showing breaking up. This is an exposure that lasted for a moment or two that has the streaks of the stars as the exposure is extended. And then included in that streak and exposure is this comet. So that makes me ask the question, is that actually a comet tail? Or is that just something much more interesting on how this comet planet, we, I know what it is, but we'll, we're going to still call it a, a planet for now and just play that game. Is this how it's traveling? Because it sure does seem to have a, an aura around it. And when you look at it at, at night and you look at it in the sky, it seems to have a um, plasma. That's it. 
a plasma effect. So if this is a prolonged exposure, we have those streaks of the stars moving along as this, this, this prolonged exposure is exposed, then that's probably the plasma that is traveling along in the other direction. So this, is, this makes this picture much more interesting and then this, all the photographic evidence that we are getting from government sources, which is minimal, absolutely minimal. I mean, it is, it is kibbles and bits compared to the stakes that we'd normally be having in the filet mignon and the full seven course television and internet clickbait to look at this amazing event. Let's look at it together. No, it's being so suppressed and now it's breaking up. Don't even pay attention to it. No, no, no. Let's look at Comet Swan. Swan is getting brighter. Why is Swan getting brighter? Where did this come from? It is all a controlled event. Um, you know, I can't even, uh, when I first found out uh, at the beginning of the month, about uh, Comet Atlas, and I found it so unique because it was the third interstellar visitor in in uh, three years that we've had. I, you know, three, three. I mean, that was a, as we say in archaeology: a rock is a rock. Two rocks touching is a wall. Three rocks touching is a house. So, three rocks touching together is not a normal event, especially in a line. Uh, three interstellar visitors for the first time ever, when we never had them before, it's just interesting. And when the news headlines were hitting about Comet Atlas, they said it was huge, it was half the size of the sun, it was traveling very fast, 93,000 miles per hour, and it was, um, and the plume was enormous. And now we're not seeing any of that information. Now it's breaking up. It's not to be, it's not to be paid attention to. But boy, two things that they're not talking about in the breakup. First of all, what gravity, what, what, what strong gravity is causing the breakup to occur? And when a comet breaks up with gravity, it breaks up in a string of pieces here. Let's look at this video for a moment as Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 impacts Jupiter. Jupiter was a strong gravitational force to cause Shoemaker Levy 9A first to break up. And then, of course, because it caused it to break up, it attracted the debris field, the debris line, because it was a straight line. I mean, that's how these things break up. The gravity is pulling you apart one bit at a time. As it touches you, it grabs you more and more and more. And so then it just went right into the planet all of the pieces of, of Shoemaker 9, 26 pieces. This supposed breakup of Comet Atlas happened at least four or five days ago. We don't know how many pieces. We don't know where they're going. It's inside of our solar system. So if this is a debris field and there's something attracting this, then NASA has, well, has a responsibility to, to be informing us and to giving us context and to let us know what was so strong to break up this enormous comet and where's the debris going to and, and how many pieces of debris are there? Well, we just don't know. This is an abnormal event. This is an absolutely abnormal event. And it's okay because it's a controlled event. The FRBs have been happening and so um, Comet Atlas, Nibiru, um, uh, the creators are coming back and they're communicating with our major governments and so all of this should be unfolding in May and um, if there is turbulent times I hope that you have uh, your faith focused. Please at least have two to four months of supplies including drinking water, uh, dry food, 
uh, because I, I expect there's going to be an electromagnetic pulse to bring us back to normal times and, um, and then do some research on all of the ma major religions, including the Hopi uh, tradition on, um, on these kind of events. All right, peace, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.